Hi, this is Islin, Eslin, and welcome back, fishies. Today, I'm going to get a little brave. I'm going to try to make sushi in front of you. I've made it before, but I've just made it by myself, and I, you know, just so I'm going to try to make it in front of you. I've had a taste for it, and I finally have everything that I like to go into it. So I'm just going to start explaining a couple of little things. First of all, you know what? I forgot the sushi kit I wanted to show you that I ordered to start with. You know, that's that part time is. Okay. I ordered, I had my nephew order me this sushi kit. I think it comes with like 49 pieces. This is a sushi kit. It comes with everything that you need. I'm going to set this back over here out the way. It, it comes with, with every everything you would need to make the sushi except the sushi. It comes with, with a couple of different things it doesn't come with. Okay, it comes with the rice paddle. This is one of them. Um, but first of all, I want to introduce the rice. This is the rice. Um, when um, we ordered the um, sushi kit, we or the rice. We ordered the rice also. This is the rice that came with it. Okay, this big ten pound bag of rice. This uh, rice is the rice that the sushi rice. This is good sushi rice. I'm gonna sit this over here out the way, so I can have more room. Okay, this is the cool a cooling bowl. Okay, they have them without the tops. I think this is like the 11, 11 inch one. They have them smaller and larger, but I thought this might be a good size for me. And what I'm going to do today is, uh, well, a couple more things I'll get out of the way. This is the book that came with it, the sushi kit. This is the book. And it tells you everything that you need to know. Okay, there's the table of contents. And this is everything that comes in the kit. That you'll need this this has got everything in it like i said it it's got everything and then it has um the one the recipe how to do the rice now what i do when i do my sushi rice is i follow this recipe that comes with the rice cooker yes i forgot to say it the uh, kit came with the rice cooker also yes so and then it has you know the different uh types of sushi that you can make and then instructions yeah and it does it has this large tube so you can make rolled sushi. It comes out nice raw. Except for I like nori. I like the uh, rice on both sides of my nori. But yeah, it comes with the molds and everything. This is great. This comes with that. And um, then, and um, what I had my nephew do was I had him order me. These are the roasted seaweeds and nori. This is what you're actually rolling it in. Looks like that. But actually, it's very thin. Look how thin that is. Look at there, translucent. You can almost see through it. But yeah, it's very thin. Um, last time, when I did it the first time, I used a whole roll, and that sucker was so big, I couldn't fit it in my mouth. I could only eat half of the time, so I'm going to use half of that. And then there's uh, this other dried seaweed. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, it's in my Food Saver bag. You know, Food Saver brand. No, I'm not um, endorsed anything by them, but it's just what I like. And um, this is the dried seaweed. Now, this is what you put in to flavor the water. Now, I didn't want to flavor the water this time because I use a different seasoning to flavor the rice. I'll be right back. I just wanted to set this aside. I'm just trying to make room so uh, when I make my uh, sushi. Now, this is the seasoning I got at the Chinese store. They told me this was very good to season the rice. So when I start the rice, I'll show you that I did put some of this seasoning in there. Um, it's got all kind of stuff in there, but they said that was also good. This is the, uh, sushi vinegar. I showed you guys the other day. Um, you can make it, but I, like I said, I, I bought this one. This is another sauce. This is a seasoning. I haven't used it yet. The season of rice yet. I haven't used that one yet. I'm going to just sit these out of the way real quick. Okay, now. Um, usually it comes, usually they serve it with, uh, a sriracha mayonnaise, a sriracha mayonnaise, but sriracha is a little bit hot for me. I didn't want to try it this time. So what I did was I used Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> I can handle Red Hot. So I used the Frank's Red Hot. This is a sriracha. This is the brand of sriracha that I use. I got from the Chinese store. They told me this was the one to use, but this is the Red Hot that I use. I like Frank's, but what I did was, um... Instead of using mayonnaise, I use my lemon aioli. This is not mustard. This is my lemon aioli that I make. I made my own sriracha mayonnaise. Well, red hot mayonnaise. 
it's not sriracha, but, but it's got it's nice flavor because it's like lemony with a little kick to it, you know. It's like mm, lemon, then ooh, you know, little kick. Is it just over here out the way? No, this doesn't go out the way. And then I have my wasabi, which is good. And I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned. And then this is the eel sauce. Yep, this is the eel sauce. I got it at the Chinese store also. This is, that's the stuff that they drizzle on top. Uh, didn't show you that. This is the brand of wasabi, but I think the next time what I'm going to do, I might just get some fresh wasabi and just, you know, um, grind it down myself. Okay, now, we're going to get started with the rice. Okay, I'm going to take the lid off. Now, if you're not going to use the rice right away, once you dry it, they said put a lid on it. So, yeah. that's my rice. I seasoned it. You can see all the seasonings in there. I seasoned it, so... Yes, I'm going to fluff it up a little more. This is to dry it out. This is one of the processes of making your sushi rice. So I'm just going to dry it out. And this particular paddle, it doesn't cut it. And they say if you wet it, then the rice doesn't stick as much. So I'm going to rewash my hands again because I was touching all the other stuff. Then we're going to get started. Um, before we get started, I'm going to show you what I did was I put um, plastic on the mat. I don't know if you can see it. Here, let me show, bring it over to you. I brought, I put the, the mat. Okay, I put plastic on the mat. Now, the reason I did that was I learned that if you do that, it's easy to clean up. Then the rice kernels won't stick inside of the mat. It makes a very, it makes easy cleanup. I should probably move this down a little bit closer. So maybe you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. I might move that up a little closer also. Okay, now we're going to line this up. But before we get started, two more things I want to show you. This, the kit came with the sushi knife. This is very sharp. Very, very sharp. So I'm going to leave the case on it until I need it to cover, until I need it for safety. And this is a really, really cool tool. Okay, this side here is the peeler side. And this side here is the shredder side. It shredded my carrots. I did that with this. Yes. I really like this tool a lot. So, here, let me get my hands washed here. Start touching all that other stuff. So, wash my hands. Let me get started. Now I'm gonna make sure my hands are dry enough so the rice doesn't stick. But like I said, I like the rice on both sides of the nori. Some people like it on one side, but I, I learned that I like it on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is just put a scoop of uh, rice on it. But what you wanna do on the end, down on the end there, you wanna leave a little bit of lip so when you fold it, you don't have to fold over to catch. So I'm just gonna put some rice on this side here and this mat the mat also came in the kit like I said you get almost everything you need in there it's only a couple things that doesn't come in there you get a lot of chopsticks you get like eight things of chopsticks oh I forgot to show you they had they have little chopstick rest holders I didn't get those out because I'm using a different set today I am using a different tray set today so now I'm going to put the rice on. I think I might have to bring you guys up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. Yep, just one thin layer, just a thin little layer of rice. You don't want it too thick because it'll be hard. I think I'm going to take a little off. Just a little bit off. Made that a little too thick. I just need a little thin layer. Thin layer of rice. Because I'm going to flip it. So, just a little thin layer of rice, you know. Leave the edge up there. Now, let's get this. Oh, make it all nice and even. Okay, now. Can you guys see that? Let me bring you guys up a little foot closer to that. Now, can you guys see that? 
you guys see that? Now, uh, this is rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put rice on the other side. Um, like I said, everybody doesn't like it like that, but I, I do. I like the, when I had the sushi and the rice is on both sides. Now, you see how nice that was to flip that over? I didn't have the rice sticking. So now I'm just going to put a couple of uh, scoops of the rice on this side. And like, as, like they said, it's also, it works better if they rinse it off. You keep your spoon wet, your paddle, excuse me, the paddle, it's a paddle. But, okay, that's what I have the water here to dip it in. So when you dip it, keep, if you dip the paddle in, the rice doesn't really stick as much. It comes off a lot easier. And I'm just going to put a thin layer on this side also. Just a little thin layer on this side. Because, like I said, I like rice on both sides. And then you can see the seasonings. You can still see the seasonings that I put in the rice. I think it's got seaweed, nori, just other stuff. See, can you see the other seasonings in there? I didn't get a good spoon of it there. Okay, yeah, that's a better one. Can you see all those seasonings in there? So I'll put that in there. And I still have to leave the edge. I think I might put a little bit too much rice on this side also. I'll just try to thin it out here. Okay, that's good. Spread it out. I have to save my edge here. Okay, now I have both sides. Both sides done. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I have some tempura shrimp that I made. I made it mm, a couple days ago, maybe, but I put it in the freezer. So I'm going to just put the tempura shrimp there. And normally, what they do is they have the tail sticking out on the end, sticking out on the end. Well, you know, I'm just a, a amateur beginner, so I'll get to it. I didn't, I didn't leave the tails on when I fried it, so. So I, I like uh, cucumbers and carrots in mine. So I'm going to just take a couple of the cucumbers, put them on each side of the shrimp. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Okay, then I'm just going to take the shredded carrots. But you can put anything in there that you like. You don't have to just put what I'm putting in mine. You know, everything here is to taste. You put in there what you like to taste, what you like. Now I'm going to have to scoot this up a little bit so when I start to roll it, now, like I said before, what I learned, what I saw them do was, I like wasabi, so I'm just going to, they just took and put a little bit of wasabi, they just spread a little bit in there. I don't want to put too much, because I also have it in my dish up here. I'm going to just try to spread this out a little bit, little thin little coat on my shrimp. That way, I'll get just a little, little extra kick. You know, and then you know what? That wasabi opens up the sinuses, just like that horseradish. Now, I don't want to get a too deep of a bite, so I want to make sure I thin this out. You know how you get that one bite, and it's like, oh, it's almost, almost as bad as a brain freeze. Okay, so I'm going to put the wasabi there. So, what I'm doing also is I'm just going to take a little square of my aioli and put in there. Like I said, uh, when you cook, um, when you really cook, it's almost just to taste whatever you like to do. Look that in there. Now, the moment of truth. We're going to roll it. We're going to try to roll it. <clears throat> now, what I was told to do, now I might have too much in here. I'm, I'm, I'm known for overfilling. So I might have too much filling in here. So I'm going to try and roll it. I am trying to roll it. And you know what? I probably shouldn't have put as much aioli as I did because it's squishing out. So I'm trying to roll this. It looks like it might be, it's, it's doing it. I'm just a little slow. I have to show you guys, but I'm pushing and rolling it and trying to push the stuff in the inside so I can catch the, the little lip that I made. Where's that one? Okay. I think this one's going to be over, overfilled. I think I got a little nervous doing it for you guys, but I think we can make it come out pretty good. I'm trying my best to roll this. So, I am making a mess because I have overfilled it. Yes, I have overfilled it. We're going to try to make this overfilled work. 
Yeah, we are gonna try to make it work. See, the shrimp came out. So I, I overfilled it. But I'm gonna roll it and try to make this work. Okay. Now I have to rinse my hands off really quick because I'm gonna make this work. Yes, I am. <clears throat> I think what it was, I just, I got nervous and excited doing it for you guys. And um, I didn't do it like I did it before. Yep, I got excited and I, I over um, overfilled it. So this one isn't as pretty as the ones that I've made in the past. Nope, this one isn't near as pretty as the ones I've made in the past. Like I said, I got excited, nervous, making it for you guys, so. But what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> they came with these little holders. I'm still going to put it in a holder and shape it. Um, like I said, I didn't, I got, I got nervous and excited making it for you guys. But here I'm going to take it and put it in the holder, in the mold. As you can see, it's not as pretty as it should be, but guess what? I'm going to still eat it. Sticky rice. Rinse my hands off again here. Yeah, I, I think I just got nervous and excited making it for you guys. Next time, I'm just going to have to pretend that you guys aren't even here. Okay, now I have it in the mold. As you guys can see, I have it in the mold. I'm going to finish shaping it. Yep, see my carrots came out. <clears throat> it didn't I didn't roll it too good. Maybe I can show you guys this side looks a little better. I'm gonna finish molding it and shaping it. And like I said, I um it was just me. I got nervous and because you guys are here watching. So now I'm gonna stick it in the mold. In the cutter so I can cut it. I'm just going to shape it just a little bit more so I can cut it. Carrots are crunchy. Okay, now. See, you guys, it's in the mold. Like I said, it's not as pretty. I got a little nervous. I overfilled it. So one thing you should do is overfill it. So next time I know, I'll just try to put half the ingredients in there. Because like I said, the last time when I used the full nori sheet, I couldn't even bite it. Okay, so now it's shaped. So you can guys can just see what's inside. I didn't roll it very well, but now this knife is very sharp. Very, very sharp. Now I'm gonna cut it. I think what I might do is stick it back even in the mold because it has the lines, the slits, so we can cut it all the way through. And I think I'm just going to line it up and cut it. Now, some people can eyeball it and cut it perfectly, but Miss Esselin can't do that. I cannot eyeball it and cut it. Here, I missed a slit right here. And you know what? I think I need to go back because when I cut it down, I wasn't cutting all the way through. And like I was saying before, this knife is razor razor sharp when i say razor sharp i mean razor sharp okay now we're gonna take it out of the mold Ta -da! Ta -da! you see that nice sushi now we're gonna take it out of this one now I showed you these. I showed you this uh, sushi pot. I can move you guys back a little bit. No, you're just all up in my face. I'm just all up in your face. I'm not going to make it back a little further. Uh, I got this to you all today. Come maybe a week or so ago at Aldi. So, I'm going to take my sushi out. And I'm going to roll it over. I'm going to flip it. Put the bad side down. Put the good side up. Now it looks pretty. 
Now I'm just going to pull it apart just a little bit so you can see it. And I know I didn't put the my squid, my eel. I didn't put the eel sauce on it yet. But I'm going to show you. Rinse off these hands again. I'm just kind of weird like that about rinsing my hands constant. I'm just weird like that. Okay, now here. I'm going to put that, get that off of here. Clean the plate up a little bit. Okay, we're going to stagger it. This way, that way. This way, that way. This way, that way. Now, this is before the eel sauce and the other sauce. This is before. Okay, now. I think we're going to put the... I know I already have some in the inside. But I'm just going to take and just drizzle some across the top. Making sure I hit each one. See, that's it. How I got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to do the eel sauce. Now, this eel sauce, once you open it, you have to put it in the refrigerator. Keep it in the refrigerator. So, I'm just going to take the eel sauce and drizzle it over. Come back. Maybe make a little crisscross on it. Okay, now. Usually they have like the wasabi and ginger. Okay, now I have them in these containers, these little dishes here. So you know what? I think I might just leave them on there because got I have two other sauces that I have with it. Here, let's try to clean. Let's try to clean this up a little bit here. Some of this stuff. Some of this stuff out the way. Now, you see that? You see that? I'm not done yet. Okay. Now, on this tray. I have, now this is the sauces, okay, now, can I do it this way better, this way better, can you guys see it better this way, I don't know what I'm doing, so, this one is you have your, it's not regular soy sauce, it's the sauce that you use for your dumplings, then I have the pickled ginger that I pickled myself, then we have the wasabi, and this is the red hot aioli that I made, usually they have sriracha mayonnaise, but this is the hot sauce that I made. These are the four dishes on the tray. Now, what we're going to do, are you guys ready for the big taste test? I am. Okay, now, make sure we got them in my fingers properly. Okay, which one are we going to taste? We're going to take this one here. Looks good. Um, put a little wasabi, little of the sauce, and then we're going to taste that. Mm. 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 She might not look pretty, but she tastes delicioso. Just that little wasabi in there. And the inside, it's not burning my nose or anything. It is really nice. With the little pickled ginger I put on there. Now, I have to try another piece because I didn't try this um, red hot mayonnaise that I made. So, I'm going to get another piece. I'm going to put a little pickled ginger on it. little piece of pickled ginger, which I made. And now, I'm, I'm going to dip it into this um, mayonnaise sauce that we have. Big test. Mmm. That is not bad. The heat isn't overwhelming for me. I can taste a little wasabi in there. Mm. That man, and um, red hot mayonnaise isn't bad. I'm telling you, if I can do this, anybody can do it. That is so good. I'm going to polish that off. This is Esalen. If you like what you see, thumbs up. If you want more, hit the dinner bell. Compliment, I mean, it, that's that part of timers. Compliments. I mean, not compliments. <laughs> Comments. <laughs> Comments are always welcome. I'm sorry about that. 
Subscribing is free. Sharing is nice. And I want everybody to stay safe and positive. And you know what? You might want to give Susie a try. It's not that bad. You have a nice day because, you know, I'm going to polish that off.